transcerebellar view. During standard obstetrical ultrasound examination, several views are needed to image desired intracranial structures. These include the transventricular view, transthalamic view, and transcerebellar view. The transcerebellar view is discussed here. In this image, the cerebral cortex, the ventricular system, and the hindbrain are seen. The transcerebellar view is an axial or transverse image of the fetal head obtained by angling the transducer back through the posterior fossa. This view includes the cerebellum, shown in brown in both images, and the cisterna magna, shown here in blue. Sonographically, the cerebellum is dumbbell-shaped and is comprised of two rounded hemispheres and an intervening vermis. The transverse cerebellar diameter is measured from outer edge to outer edge. A useful rule is that from 15 until 22 weeks, the cerebellar diameter in millimeters is approximately equivalent to the gestational age in weeks. The cisterna magna is a fluid-filled space behind the cerebellum that is measured by placing calipers just inside its borders. The cisterna magna normally measures between 2 and 10 millimeters. Lastly, the fetal nuchal skin fold may be measured between 15 and 22 weeks as a marker of fetal aneuploidy risk. The nuchal skin fold is measured from just outside the skull to just outside the fetal skin. A measurement of six millimeters or greater increases the risk for fetal Down syndrome by more than tenfold. In addition to the cerebellum and cisterna magna and nuchal skin fold, anatomic structures visible in the transcerebellar view include the frontal horns of the lateral ventricles, cavum septum pellucidum, thalami, and cerebral peduncles. A tiny fourth ventricle may be visible just anterior to the cerebellum. Certain abnormalities involving the posterior fossa are identified in the transcerebellar view. The dandy walker malformation is characterized by a genesis of the cerebellar vermis. Sonographically, the absence of the vermis and separation of the cerebellar hemispheres permits fluid in the enlarged cisterna magna to communicate with the fourth ventricle. Vermian agenesis is associated with other abnormalities in approximately 50% of cases and aneuploidy in 40%.